Hi Atari friends, today I would like to demonstrate the Atari to go device. It's an Android based uh, emulated Atari computer. The Android device has several USB ports, uh, two micro USB ports and one standard uh, USB port. It also has a connector for a mini SD card so you can upload software into and an HDMI port that goes to the television. I'm going to connect the HDMI port to my TV and the micro USB port to the power adapter and as soon as the device will boot it will load directly to the Atari Colleen emulator. On the video notes, I will uh, add a link to a document that I made that explains how you can create and upload the software. So you can also have a device that boots directly into an Atari uh, computer. So let's wait for the device to boot. And we will see that when it finishes boot booting, it will go directly into the Atari uh, self-test, directly into the Atari uh, Colleen emulator. And when it does that, <clears throat> I'm going to connect to the uh, second uh, USB port. I'm going to connect a USB hub. This is a, a simple USB, a four port USB hub. And I found that um, in some USB hubs does not work well with the Android um, operating system and some works better. So just connect the one that works better with, to the USB port. And to the USB hub I'm going to add a USB keyboard, a USB mouse and a USB joystick. That's the USB keyboard. And here is the USB mouse, a standard USB mouse. And a USB D-pad adapter. It's a USB joystick for a Mac or, that's the box, Mac or PC. To the micro USB port, I'm gonna use an adapter and connect the disk on key, which has my ATR software on it. So I'm gonna add that to the micro USB port. Oh, here we go. And we are ready. We can use the mouse just to navigate and load one of the ATR files that I copied here. We can load DOS 2.5. So we have DOS, or we can load Turbo Basic, and we can just play with basic programs, write our own basic programs. If you want to learn basic, or just uh, try and uh, play and type some basic commands just a simple basic command works well <clears throat> I can also do the same and load an assembler Mac 65 and do some assembly command and write my own assembler software here. Oh, sorry, I have to, wrong syntax. And just, uh, 
go on and write my own assembly command. Or I can go and play some games. Let's load the game. Let's load Bruce Lee. And use the joystick to start the game. You can load other games. It's a ninja game for Master Chronic. You can just uh, go on and just load more games. One thing I would like just to uh, that I found out that the default fire button is the uh, set to number two. So when you load the uh, Colleen emulator, you have to go to the configure keyboard and change the fire button to the D pad button switch otherwise this will just won't work and it will just have to push the number two to get the fire goes on uh, to fire to operate uh, that's all that's the um, Atari to go device can take to your can take it with you to your hotel room when you travel and just play Atari games on the television enjoy <laughs>